Hi, I'm Tony from Dan Am Company. We're going to show you how to put together our EF110, which is the flexible panel stand. And the flexible panel stand, you can hang anything on it from fenders to doors, hoods, deck lids, uh, even bumper covers can be mounted on this stand. We're going to show you a simple process on how to put the EF110 together. Here's the package it comes in. Caleb and I are going to show you how now. Okay, now we've got all of our parts out of the box, ready here for our assembly. Inside the box comes a very nice instruction book that shows every single part that's in, in the package, and then it begins with uh, just putting it together. Caleb's going to show you how simple this is to put together. Take it away. Begin by attaching the wheels to the wheelbase bar. Put the wheel bolt through the bolt shaft and push those through the wheel. The bolt should be flush with the center of the wheel. Secure the bolt to the wheel base bar by using the washers and nuts provided. Next, attach the kickstand by slotting the T-bracket into the back leg and lining up the bolt holes. Place a washer on the bolt through the aligned holes. Then, place the other washer and nut on the end of the bolt that is passed through the front leg of the bracket and back leg. Tighten the nut onto the bolt until snug. Attach the wheelbase bar to the front leg. Slot the bottom end of the front leg onto the mounting tube in the center of the wheelbase bar and line up the bolt holes. Once the base is fully assembled, take the vertical support bar and slide the bottom end on into the base of the Easy Flex stand. Make sure the raised bolt opening is facing the back of the stand. Screw the hand screw into the hole in the side of the front leg of the base. Tighten to secure the vertical support bar at whatever level is comfortable. Slide the main support bar through the cylinder at the top of the vertical support bar until the central round top on the main support bar fits inside of the cylinder. Make sure the groove cut into the raised round tube lines up with the bolt hole on the bottom of the cylinder. Screw the nut onto the end of the Allen screw until it's flush with the underside of the Allen screw. Then, use an Allen wrench to screw the Allen screw into the bolt hole on the bottom of the cylinder. The Allen screw will stop when the nut is flush with the underside of the cylinder. Rotate the main support bar to ensure that the Allen screw runs along the inside of the groove on the main support bar. If it's stopped by the Allen screw at almost 360 degrees, the turning mechanism is correct. Insert the short brass bar into the raised bolt opening on the cylinder at the top of the vertical support bar. Screw the turning lock and handle into the raised bolt opening. Secure both gaskets by pushing them into either side of the cylinder. Use a tool such as a hammer to gently secure the gaskets into place. They should be flush with the end of the cylinder and not come out. Now, we will add the extension and support arms. Take the panel and bumper support arms and slot them onto either end of the main support bar using the brackets at the top of the support arms. Secure the support arms using the hand screws. The rear of the brackets where you screw in the hand screws should be facing the rear of the stand so that the support arms hang down from the front of the stand. Slide one Easy Flex hook over the top of each support arm facing the front of the stand and secure by screwing a hand screw into the back of the bracket to the rear of the stand. Slide one Easy Flex hook onto the bottom end of each support arm facing the front of the stand. Secure by screwing a hand screw into the back of the bracket to the rear of the stand. All right, now we're finally assembled. One important step that when Caleb put these together, notice that the hooks on the top are facing up. The hook on the bottom is facing down. That's to tension apart to hold a fender, hold a door skin, hold a hood, hold a deck lid. Uh, it just gives you pull tension on either way so that you can rotate this stand back and forth. All right, we've got this thing together, so let's go put it to work.